I rise in strong support of AB 93 for two reasons. First, I believe the current Enterprise Zone program is wasteful and ineffective. Enterprise Zones cost the state $700 million going on $1 billion, but according to the Public Policy Institute of California, on average have no effect on business creation or job growth. In my district, in the city of Brisbane, they actually cost us jobs. A company from my district fired union workers with high wages and benefits and proceeded to relocate to an enterprise zone in Visalia. This company was actually eligible for tax credits for hiring lower wage workers. This is not an acceptable outcome for, for such an expensive program. It's an egregious example of the need for reform. Secondly, this proposal includes sales tax exclu exclusions for manufacturing and biotech research and development equipment. This builds on California's existing strengths. South San Francisco, my hometown, is the birthplace of biotechnology with over 100 companies. It is an Amer American success story. We should be encouraging further growth in this industry and in the innovation economy more broadly. That's what AB 93 is about. Currently, 9% of California's workforce, workforce is employed in manufacturing, but this sector has been on the steady decline, contrary to many other states in the union where we see manufacturing jobs coming back. We are one of only a few states that charge a sales tax on manufacturing inputs. This double taxation makes us uniquely uncompetitive, and it is bad policy. The governor's bill corrects that. This proposal will stimulate manufacturing and research and development, and rather than favoring large corporations, reserves a portion of hiring credits specifically for small businesses. Rather than providing credits to employers for hiring low-wage workers, AB 93 provides higher wages to people who need them the most, veterans, the unemployed, and low-income individuals, and can actually put California back in a competitive position when it comes to manufacturing. Members, this is the right thing to do. We'll help get our state back on track and rebuild blue-collar jobs while incentivizing our innovation economy. I ask for an I vote.